Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy Revex's video re unit review. And we have Laura Croft here with an STMR that not that could change, so it's still just a one two-handed gun. Sorry, two-handed weapon. So you would use this in her in her pre-shift form because that's where her TDH lies. So with that being said, first of all, before we get into the base and brave shift form, infinite turns, zero turn cooldown on brave shift, so she can shift between the two at ease. Anyways, into the base form, 150% true dual wield, 600% caps, uh, 10 times mod boost to non LB mods on our normal attacks. So you do that and you get higher chaining on our on our normal attacks or uh, on our normal chaining abilities and stuff like that. So it's decent. I guess technically also on her normal attack, we probably wouldn't use that again. You probably would just use it for that and then go into that. And then all her chains are bolting strike, which is pretty easy to use. Brave shift form, 90% break. This is what everybody's talking about, but it costs 15 low first crystals, so you kind of have to keep upkeep that. She also has beast and human and also avian and machine killer buffs for herself, 200%. She has 300% low first damage passive, which is really good. So it'll help out <laughs> building her a lot easier. 100% chain cap increase, so to give her lightning zest TMR or the crown, and you're good. 300% uh, TDH, so give her a clouds TMR, and you're good. Or the original cloud. Or two martial gloves if she wants to do that. 300% beast and human killer. 100% avian and machine killer. Decent. And her brave shift and little burst 90 times mod stacking two times 80 times each for 250 times 250 times ma max one hit 15 little first cost as well so her base alone first is actually weaker than her brave shift alone first funnily enough even with morale because even with morale it's only 220 times mod chain whereas the brave shift form is 250 times um Regardless of morale, there's no morale involved with her brave shift alone first. Yes, her modifier is actually weaker than the premium units, but still, apparently she's actually, you know, edging on Sky apparently a bit. So there's that. Uh, no brave shift, uh, no, uh, in a, no alone first damage in a passive in a brave shift form or bat, base form. Sorry about that, base form. So you're really not gonna be using her brave, sh uh, her alone first in her base form too often. Um, because you'd have to you'd have to gear a lot to get her 300% low first damage. It, that would be insane. So heavy low first cost it in a ray shift form, and you need supports to upkeep that uh, to to upkeep that, or just use and trust over and over again. But you still would need support to do that over and over again. And limited moves even on a global original unit, especially a limited time one. Uh, if you look at her at the wiki, there is very few moves at all. So. I know some of you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, that's kind of disappointing. You know, it's a global original unit. This is not uh, the JP units that have only a few moves. We usually have lots of moves like Louise or Ling or, you know, Igni. Yeah, Sky had not that many moves either, but usually, the, I mean, all her moves were pretty, you know, cohesive in a way. And even though most people just use a Brave Shift to Limpers anyways, uh, at least there was that. Uh, this, she has very few moves and if you want fire and views, you have to basically start in a base form and shift around, which is not a big problem because she has that zero turn cooldown, but still you have to shift around and she's got a stacking lone burst. So you can't defend or, you know, do anything like that because then she'll lose the stacks. So overall, she's got, you know, the brave shift lone burst finisher going on with her. And for some reason, people still have a thing about AOE, but it only hits one time. The thing with the AOE in Dark Visions was the multicast for mages, especially. Mages had a problem because if you multicast it and then they were all enemies, uh, it wouldn't cast because if the enemy was KO'd, then they wouldn't cast. But this is a one hit AOE attack, so there's no reason to be worried about AOE when it only hits one time, so it's not going to cast again. I'm not really sure why people are confused about that. There was people I was read I was reading uh, comments on Reddit and people were so confused still about AOE and Dark Visions. It's silly. It's silly. It's silly. What do I think about her? She's a very strong damage dealer. But do you need her? No. Sky is probably still better. Uh, the math is out. I think Sky is still stronger in regards to her base 
in, in, in terms of Ka a Clash of Wills, of course, she, Sky is stronger. Outside of Clash of Wills, uh, Lower Crash is probably stronger. But if you've got Sephiroth or Tifa, why would you go for her? Unless you like the collaboration, unless you like the unit. Probably don't need to go for Lackluster TMR, Lackluster STMR. Good vision card, though. So if you get it for free in some in some capacity, uh, then you could go ahead and do that. So to keep this review pretty short, I'm going to go ahead and give her 8.5 out of 10. Her base form is just... Feels like they didn't really bother with it too much, like no low burst damage, passive. What if, what if you want to use her as a chainer? So I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there are like, hey, her... her her base level burst is pretty strong. It's not as strong as her base or brave shift level burst, but if you want her, if you want to use her as a fire chainer, then you would want to use her uh, level burst. But you, you would need a lot of level burst damage gear. I mean, come on, guys. You you would need a lot of level burst damage gear. Three, she would, she needs to be three hundred percent. She's starting from zero. Plus, you need fifty percent true to wield. On top of that, so I mean, it's not impossible. Then you're then you're you know you're struggling with killers as well. She. Had, and, and, and stuff like that so and, and she doesn't have any killers in her base form to my to my knowledge maybe maybe she will and the, maybe she will maybe the maybe this uh sheet's not done I, i'm pretty sure it is though anyways guys let me know in the comment section about what you think about her uh, am i am i in the money with this am i not in the money am i am i terrible at doing this review let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one peace